What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Track and Ace. Boy, oh boy, we got to get down to it, y'all. We had guys to have this discussion, bro. Yep, let's sit down for this one. I'm not playing either. Let's sit down for this one. Um, we got to have a talk, bro. Uh, I'll probably do a longer video about this uh, later this week. I just want to get sort of a quicker version out to y'all. A uh, little reaction to it. So y'all saw what happened, man. Uh, Shakira Richardson got silver instead of gold. Um, Juju Alfred, Julian Alfred, got the gold medal. Uh, she was the, really the only challenger to Shakira in that field. And Juju got gold in the 100. The gold that was reserved for Shakira Richardson. Uh, and shout out to Melissa Jefferson, third place. She's had an awesome season, man. To cap it off with this uh, bronze medal, huge season. And like I, I was telling y'all, I think being on that team with Abby Steiner, Jenna Prandini, and T.T. Terry back in 2022, it seems like she turned the corner ever since then. Um, she's looked a lot better since then, man. Melissa Jefferson has become a little powerhouse in the 100, man. She, I mean, that was crazy, man. Now, a lot of people are saying this field was kind of on the weakest side, that there was no excuse for Shakari uh, Shakari losing. I don't know about that. I, I think that there was some tough competitors in here, man. But is it weak compared to past years? Yeah, I will say it was weaker than past years. But you, the thing was, was like there was still some awesome, awesome sprinters in here, man. Um. But yeah, we're gonna have to talk about Shakari right now, man. Uh, I told y'all if you if you've been on this channel, I've told y'all this. Now I haven't been making Olympic videos so far on this channel, and the main reason why is because uh, I got other Olympic channels on YouTube that I'm taking care of. I'm mainly focused in on swimming and gymnastics right now, so I really haven't had a chance to really focus on track just yet. So this is officially my first track of video of these Olympic games. Um, I'm going to be talking about Femke Bowl next on the mixed, re uh, mixed Relay race. But she carried Richardson failed, man. In my opinion, she failed because as I said she has to get a gold medal. The way they've been promoting her, over-promoting her, they've been already declaring her as the winner before the race began that she's got this gold medal in her hands. This is a failure. Normally, a silver or bronze medal, I don't really see that as a failure. The, the, the she carry getting the medal itself is not a failure. It's that she didn't get it, and the expectations was that she was the best in the field. And this was not the hardest field in the world for a hundred um, event at the Olympics. Man, she actually got probably uh, she's probably gonna have an easier field than someone like a Gabby Thomas or. The girls in the 400 meters, the women's 400 meters, like she's literally probably going to get the toughest field. And she couldn't get it done. Uh, this is a failure. I said it. The reason why I said her not getting a gold medal is a failure, even though she's only 24. The reason why it's a failure is not just because of all the hype she's got or whatever like that. It is a failure because... The next four years are going to be held for Shakira Richards and fans. Because you know what people are going to be saying? And they've already started. They've already started it, bro. I've seen hundreds of comments today about or, or uh, thousands, maybe, maybe thousands. It, it might be more thousands than the hundreds. I think I was being nice about the hundreds part. A lot of people are saying she is a failure for not winning a gold medal. Um... But also the biggest thing that stuck out to me with that was that people were already starting to say, you didn't win the gold medal, you're not the best. This is why I said what I said about her needing to win a gold medal because she has to shut those people up, right? Because it's a four year, it's going to be four years of hell. It's going to be a tough road getting there back back in this position. And there's no telling who's in the game by 2028. You know, Julian Alford is already there. Um, I don't know if this is going to be her only medal in there. Melissa Jefferson might be getting better and better. You know, I think we're going to get some of those other girls running better, too, in the 100. 
I saw some girls that didn't make it that, that looked like they're going to be pretty good in the future. And then you got these young teenagers. Now, the only one that I, I really wasn't impressed with is Tia Clayton. I think she's so overrated. She's, and I know Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaicans aren't gonna like this, but y'all Jamaicans, y'all, y'all overrate y'all athletes every single time, man. These younger ones. Why wasn't Tina Clayton in the top three if she was that good, bro? Why wasn't she in the top three? Don't don't give me that her age because you want to know why? Don't give me her age because when it came to Shelly Ann Fraser Price, oh Shelly Ann Fraser Price was uh, she was young as hell when she won, man. Her first Olympics in uh, Beijing. I don't think that was her first Olympics. I think she was in uh, the one in Greece or Athens in 2004. I'm not sure, but she won gold in Beijing. Y'all always bring that up, how young she was. But now y'all want to get his excuses. And you know who y'all want to give excuses to? Abby Steiner. Y'all didn't want to give excuses about her injury. So you know what? I'm not giving Tia any fucking excuses. She didn't get it done. She failed. Just like Shakari did. She failed. At least Shakari got a medal. She at least she got a medal. T ain't got shit. <laughs> I ain't saying T ain't good. It's just that Tia is very overrated. She ain't Shelly Ann. She ain't the next Shelly Ann Fraser Price. I'll tell you that right now. The next Shelly Ann Fraser Price probably would have did what Juju did what one did tonight and won. I'm gonna be honest. I think the I think the next Shelly Ann would have won. And this girl didn't win. This girl didn't win, bro. But this this video ain't about Tia Clay, man. Um, when it comes to this this field was overrated too. Like this was not a good field in my opinion for the one hundred, man. This is like an awful field. I, that's what that's another reason why I'm personally disappointed in what happened today. She carry really should have took care of business, man. She carry to me. See, I think there's a narrative going on with she with she carry, bro. Where when the bright when the lights hit the brightest, she just she's not gonna show up. She's not gonna show up, bro. She's starting to develop that pattern that I've noticed. She's starting to develop that pattern. I know she got a world championship last year in in gold, um, but she she is starting to give a feeling. She's starting to give me that feeling like she's just not gonna be able to get it done, man. And like I said, I don't think it's going to be, I think this is the easiest chance to get it. Easiest chance. You had none of the three Jamaicans. Like Shelly Ann didn't run. Uh, Sharika didn't run. You really had nobody to really worry about this year. This wasn't like Tokyo where all three of the Jamaicans won. You had nothing to worry about. How did you lose this, bro? How the fuck did you lose this? For real. That's that's nuts, man. Guys, this was a failure. I don't care about the Shakari fans out there trying to defend this. This was a failure. In the next four years, I'm going to be hell on Shakari Richardson, bro, for failing. You know, it's going to be hell because it's a it's a it's a upward climb. But you know what? She could follow Noah Lyles' story, and so far, Noah Lyles looking look, looking a little bit shaky. But I think he's actually going to win gold. In both events, though, um, that's crazy, man. How this turned out. It would not surprise me if Shakari doesn't win it again in 2028, even on home soil. We're gonna be at the. If she loses that one, you're talking about she's 32 in 2032. It's pretty much a wrap. It's pretty much a wrap at that point. Um. Damn. People were also saying she was going to get down to the 1060, the 1060s too. Crazy stuff, man. I don't know what to say. I really don't. I don't know what to say, man. I'm kind of speechless because I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked that she lost. I, as much as I know about Juju, Alfred, this was a huge loss that I didn't see coming for she carried, man. I, I, I was extremely disappointed. Wow, man. This is why they say you got to watch the races, man. Shoot. I'm also um, disappointed that Gina Luka Kemper and uh, Yua Sabota didn't make the uh, finals. 
Where is Zoe Hobbs as well? You know? Um, Dina, I think Dina was, I think Daryl Netta was in there, but where's Dina Asher Smith? It's a lot of disappointments, man. I, it's been a disappointing last couple of years in track to me. It's been a, it's been a very disappointing, and the, you know, I'm talking about in the shorter distances. It's, it's been very disappointing, very disappointing. So we'll see what happens in the future, man. But go on ahead and give me your thoughts on this, man. Give this video in the comment section below. Give, give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Track and Ace.